Right now, this week, it was revealed uh, that former Prime Minister Boris Johnson had what they called a manly pep talk mm. with Prince Harry Very in manly. an attempt to persuade the Duke to stay in the UK. Now, look here. Well, if you remember, actually, John Major got involved in the Prince and Princess of Wales's oh, he divorce. Oh, did. I'd forgotten did about that. Years and years ago. Well, that so was... So maybe this is something the royal family do, if it's a really difficult situation. Well, he wasn't the man to the talk Prime about... Minister. He wasn't the man to tell Charles about having an affair, was no, he? No, he really wasn't. So it turned out... Anyway, uh, Mr Johnson was asked by Downing Street and Buckingham Palace officials to step in, as we were saying. Now, uh, as Harry is due to visit the UK tomorrow, should we consider, as if it's our thought at all, to welcome back the Sussexes with open arms? don't really know how we conflate the two issues. Anyway, let's talk to former Royal Gardener Jack Stooks and Royal Commentator Richard Fitzwilliams. Morning to you both. Um, Morning. Richard, what do you think? Do we need to be... Do we need to forgive and forget? Well, firstly, I mean, they don't want to come back. And at the moment, absolutely not. I mean, you're dealing with uh, an institution that's serious if they actually came back. I mean, uh, in some hypothetical form, uh, you'd, you'd have a circus, uh, every single royal event uh, that was uh, involved, the Sussexes, you'd have the focus on them and so forth. It, it would in reality be completely completely impractical if you consider that in the past four years they've conducted a guerrilla war against the royal family. They've done enormous damage to it and indeed if you look at the 18 to 24 year old group which is disenchanted with the institution but where they do have support, it's the only, if you look at the polls, this is the only place the Sussexes actually have support. Uh, this is one of the results of the Oprah interview, uh, the six our Harry and Meghan Netflix documentary where they had talking heads rubbishing the Commonwealth, spare on those ill-advised interviews around it. And also, let's, uh, let's ask a question too. When did the Sussexes last say something that was favourable about the royal family? I can't think. Indeed, in theory, they want an apology for the way that Harry believes Meghan was a badly treated when they were senior working royals. So, I mean, the answer's absolutely no. You could say it three times and imitate Margaret Thatcher if you like, but, I mean, there's no way they are going to come back. They don't want to. They're happy in California, supposedly. And most certainly, they're the issue of trust. Who would trust them? No. OK, Jack, I, I know that over the many years you worked for Prince Charles, you got to know both of the boys um, very well. Um, and you're a bit fed up with the negative way that certainly we now in the media in Britain talk about Harry. Yes, I think this is a problem. I mean, you, you've heard Richard saying, no, 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 not don't have them back. But the, what have they actually done that's been so awful that Britain can't let them come and go as they please? They've not actually done anything illegal. They've not done any sort of, you know, uh, they haven't bombed anybody. They, literally, they've done nothing wrong. All they've done is be themselves. So Harry chose to marry Meghan. You know, we, we've everybody has an opinion and completely uh, everybody's entitled to that opinion. Like them or loathe them, that's the, the, the opinion that, that people have. But they haven't been given a ban on not coming back to England. So if they want to come back to England, let them come back to England. If they don't want to come back to England, again, they, they don't need to. It is it is their lives, and that's what Harry was banging on about at the time. He just wanted to have his life. Um, and, uh, you know, the, the, the royal family haven't said anything supposedly positive about William, or sorry, about Harry. Uh, likewise, why would they need to say anything positive the other way around? They, they're living their lives. They talk privately, presumably, to each other. And, you know, if, if Harry is, is coming back and wants to see his family, why well, shouldn't they he be allowed to? Of fact, no, they don't, I'm afraid. The rift is so bad that uh, they, there's a lot of speculation. We don't know yeah. whether they talk privately to each other, how would we? But there most certainly is not a conversation at the moment publicly between William and Harry. This was obvious at Lord Fellows' memorial service. They were both at the back of the church, apparently, mm -hmm. and reportedly didn't say a word to each other. Reportedly, you don't know what they're doing or saying. 
Well, I am saying that we're talking about this is a debate about renegotiating Mexit. And if that was the case, in fact, what was arranged at the Sandringham Agreement would have to be uh, looked at again. And that would mean that Sussexes would have their cake and eat it, so to speak, because they could do com the commercial along with royal activities and to have them as at royal events, as I say. I mean, you would have an undignified circus. You would have a weird situation. And this is something that Meghan would want. Uh, she was desperately unhappy, unfortunately, when they were doing royal events and they were here. So Harry can come and go as he wants. Fair enough. His relationship with the rest of the royal family. I mean, with, there's a deep rift, we know. We also know, and we all are aware, that King Charles and, of course, the Princess of Wales are fighting cancer. It's a dreadfully difficult time for the royal family. So let us hope that there it could be some form of reconciliation. But we're not talking about renegotiating Mexit. I mean, that's just bizarre. No, we're talking about allowing them to come and go as they please, which is... Well, no, I'm suggesting that they can right. come and go as they please. It's a question, however, of whether or not they would want to do royal duties, and they want it half in, half out. You can't renegotiate that because that isn't being royal. The royal family is a serious institution. It's pivotal to our unwritten constitution. It's a symbol of national unity. This would be ridiculous. Final word, from you, Jack. Well, I, I, I think. Well, I mean, this is ridiculous. He, he's, he, uh, Rich is banging on about that they shouldn't be allowed back in. Harry can, but Meghan can't. I mean, who, who are we to decide whether Harry can bring his wife uh, to and from England? It's, it's, well, well, no, it's no, none no. of his business or ours. Well, well, yes, but it's not, it, it, as, as Richard said, it's not whether they can come and visit the country, is it? It's about whether they come back and have any royal role here. If, but if, if the king, like, like we, we know full well, he is unwell, we know that the Princess of Wales is unwell, uh, normally you do actually want your family and friends around you to help and support. Well, if Harry's, you know, I don't know, but Harry might be coming back to say, look, I'm here if you need me, I'm here to support if you need me. Uh, things have happened in the past. Things will happen in the future. We, we can't decide what the, the rights and wrongs of, of what they're going to do. Obviously, we're all on our own path. But um, allowing them to come back in and, and if he wants to take on the role and if uh, the, the king says, please, actually, can you do this for me? Who, who are we to say that Harry shouldn't? Oh, well. that won't happen, but uh, essentially at the basis of this, there's trust. And the royal family, with reason, don't trust the Sussexes. I'm afraid that that is a situation, and very, very definitely, there is no renegotiation of Mexit on offer. OK, you two. We've got to leave it there. Thanks very much indeed, Jack Stoops and Richard Fitzwilliams. Yeah. And there's no doubt, actually, the overwhelming opinion of you guys watching at the moment... Um, saying that uh, they wouldn't trust um, a brother who did that to them. Mm. That's their opinion of Harry. But anyway, we, don't, we really don't know whether they'd want to come back at all. Right. And you get the feeling that I don't think she'd want to come back. No, I, mean, I don't she's think She's not she'll. interested. Whereas he still has family here. I don't think she'd ever set back foot mm. in this country, I don't to be honest. Think so either.